student banned from prom due to $400 dress. It was supposed to be a magical night of dancing and laughing. She even hoped for a good night's kiss from her prom date who she had a huge crush on. But she knew it was too good to be true. Her prom dream now lay in shattered fragments. Every part of her was fighting to hold back tears. She had no idea what she did to deserve this. Her heart pounded as she walked through the doors. Between school and her part-time job at the local pizzeria, 16-year-old Josie Reason barely had enough hours left in the day to finish her homework and maybe sneak in a bit of wonderfully mind-numbing YouTube videos. She was a busy girl but she still had enough time to dream about her upcoming prom. However, that particular evening would see her weeping for justice. She had barely stepped through her bedroom door and flopped down on her bed when a loud ding-dong echoed through the house. With her parents at work, she answered the door. It was a delivery guy from her work. He handed over a large pizza. Confused, Josie stared at the box. She didn't order anything. Nor did she have the slightest idea of what was hiding inside. Josie tried to explain to her work friend that she didn't order anything. She tried to give the pizza box back to him but he refused to take it. I'm not even hungry. Honestly, give it to the guys, Josie said. Frustrated, the pizza guy said, it's from Christian. He asked me to deliver it to you. Just eat it later. He shoved it into her hands and left. Josie's face immediately brightened. She raced back inside and excitedly opened the pizza box. Her heart leaped as she read what was scrawled on the inside of the lid, I know it's cheesy, but. Prom. Christian. She had a crush on Christian for so long and now it looked like he had a crush on her too. She inhaled the delicious steam wafting off the four cheese pizza with a huge grin. This was going to be a prom like no other she thought. And she was definitely right about that. Kristen and Josie went to different high schools. Christian invited Josie to his high school prom so she had to learn fast on what was deemed as acceptable dress wear. Being from a Christian school, Christian had to put up with more rules on dress and behavior etiquette than most other boys his age, and the same would be expected from his prom date, Josie. That's where it all went downhill. Josie knew her public school already had a long list of don'ts when it came to prom dresses. Nothing too revealing and nothing too long that would cause a safety hazard, but she was far out of her depth with Christian's school. She had no idea what Christian's ultra-conservative, religious school was going to ask for. Still, she was up for the challenge. Unaware of how hard things would get. The very next day, Josie went out with her mom to go dress hunting. She told her mom all about Christian and how happy she was that he asked her out to prom and how she needed to find the perfect dress. Her mom helped her pick out some dresses to try on and offered her opinion. Josie trusted her mom's eye for fashion so she loved having her there but as the day passed, they still hadn't found the one. Maybe it was an omen of what was to come. Josie continued to go dress hunting with her friends, but as they found their dream dress, Josie was still struggling to find hers. It was hard shopping for an ultra-conservative dress in today's times. Nothing she found seemed to flatter her frame. It was becoming mission impossible, until she entered an expensive boutique on the edge of town. It took several shops and many days of fitting rooms and disappointments before Josie found something that followed the rules but still made her look stunning. But there were two problems, the dress had questionable fabric on its side panels and it was expensive. Josie and her mom took pictures of the dress and sent them to Christian's mother. But she had another idea. Christian's mom suggested to Josie's mom to send the picture the school administration too, just in case her opinion was wrong. Josie and her mom did as he suggested and waited for an answer before they bought the dress. They asked the shop owner to put the dress on hold until they could get confirmation that it was appropriate. Christian's mom thought it was fine and when Josie and her mom heard back from the school with an echoed approval, she was ecstatic. Now, they could finally move forward. They went back to the boutique and signed off on its $400 price tag. It was a steep price but one Josie's mom was happy to pay. After all, it was such an important rite of passage. If only they knew what they were paying for. Now that Josie found her dress, she could relax and focus on the other aspects of getting ready for prom. She booked herself a spray tan and searched online for what she wanted her hair and makeup to look like. She wanted to be different from the other girls. Most of them, like her best friend, Sophie, who was also going to the Christian school's prom decided on the natural makeup look with her hair down. 
but Josie wanted to do more, a decision she'd later regret. It was finally prom day and Josie felt like she was sailing on cloud nine. Christian looked dashing when he came to collect her. They took some pictures at her house before she waved goodbye from her adoring mom. The thrill of the evening so far was all Josie hoped it would be. She felt like she was taking one more step into adulthood and she couldn't have been happier with who ended up beside her. But it wasn't just himself he brought. Besides a lovely corsage, Christian hired a private car and driver which was theirs for the entire evening. It was more than she could have imagined. Butterflies rose in her stomach and her cheeks turned bright red as Christian held her hand and helped her in. But if she had known what was coming, she would have told the driver to turn around. Josie and Christian made their way into the reception lobby. People lined up to show their tickets and make their way into the main dance hall. That's when Josie saw a familiar face. Oh my god. Josie, she squealed. Josie bumped into a friend she hadn't seen in months since she moved school last semester. Josie was so happy to know an author person here. She knew it was going to be an unforgettable night, and she was right. As Christian handed over their tickets, Josie marveled at the amazing decorations. It was so much better than what her public school could ever afford. They were about to enter the elaborate hall, when one of the administrators quickly came over. He was scowling. He pointed at her dress and suddenly, disaster struck. You can't come in wearing that, he pointed. He had a horrified look on his face. Confused, Josie followed his finger to where he was pointing. She lifted her arms up and realized he was pointing at the side panels of the dress where the unusual fabric was. I, I can't, Josie stammered, why, she said. All the joy that had built up immediately drained from her body. Even Christian's eyes turned wide and confused. They both tried to explain that the school had already approved the dress. But even with the screenshots of the conversations and a call from her mother, the old men gave them a ridiculous choice. Meanwhile, Josie felt all eyes on her. Everyone around her began to notice the problem and began to look at her dress. While some showed sympathy faces, others tried to muffle a giggle. Josie felt hum elated. She tried to ignore the onlookers as she told the teacher that he wasn't being fair. She double-checked with the school if this dress was safe before attending but he wasn't having any of it. He told her that she could either wear a date's jacket all night or run to Walmart to buy a belt to go around it. She felt ridiculed. All the happiness Josie had felt that night was replaced with soul-crushing sadness. Four hundred dollars, down the drain. The worst part was that no one watching all of this was stepping up to defend them. Everyone wanted to get inside and enjoy prom. No one wanted to risk making the old men any grumpier and having their tickets revoked. But they had already asked, and the school said the dress was okay. It was all over two mesh panels around her waist. It was so stupid. Even her mother's rage sent smoke billowing out of the phone when she called in the update. Josie wasn't being let in. She called her mom in distress and told her what was happening. Chrysician also called his mom. Both moms were outraged but they couldn't do anything. The school had decided that Josie was banned unless she did something about her dress. But Christian had decided on something too and he wasn't about to let Josie cry any more tears. Forget this. Christian said, pulling Josie out of the line. I have a much better idea. Christian was determined to try his best to salvage the night they had planned. If they couldn't do prom, maybe they could do the next best thing, dinner and a movie, they still had a private driver for the night after all. Her heart fluttered when he made her a promise. He promised her that they would do it all again at Josie's prom, where the dress was more than acceptable. There was no way she couldn't show off such a beautiful dress. It didn't matter how angry their moms got or how many social media tweets supported them, the school wasn't going to budge. So, they would take control and made the best of a bad situation.